Talk, yeah, she getting off on that motherfucker. <laughs> she got all the points. She got all the points she needs to hit. Yeah, that's hard. Big shit. Check it, man. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Host. It's your boy, ECO. And I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? You know, you know my dad. Man, hold love, man. We got hey, a star in this thing, man. Uh -huh. Hey, man, this guy right here, man, every time I call him, man, he always going to pick that phone up and say, man, you need me. I'm there, man. Hey, man, we love you, man. That boy. Man, I got number love for y'all. Little, little Ron MF is in the building. In the building. Say, man, <laughs> and I've been using that while the bosses talk. I, no, I go hard with that. Yeah. I done seen a lot of bosses come talk with y'all, too. Hey man, it been some crazy things happening, man. Mm -hmm. Like we we probably went viral like five, six times mm -hmm. on some. Bro, I be oh, going down. Just, I be like, what the heck just happened? Say, I be watching. So I don't know which ones I didn't watch. <laughs> I do know which ones I didn't watch, but <laughs> it be going on like crazy. Niggas be mad. It be a lot of them. And y'all don't even break it. <laughs> y'all ain't, ain't I, I'm just trying to, hey man, I'm just here. Uh, get it off your chest. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But, but at the end of the day, it's always a, 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 a light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. We always looking for, okay, man, yeah, we here, but can we get there? We we do look for that, but sometimes I think some of it just nigga just be in his feelings or something. Nah, I can tell you exactly off. what it is. I mean, for um most entertainers, you dig what I'm saying? Uh I feel like y'all, as being good interviewers, yeah, it's like in the entertainment industry, y'all like almost therapists to these folks. Because mm -hmm. these folks come up here and they and they want to tell y'all what's yeah. going on. They want to tell y'all how they feel, and they like that's what therapy is. Yeah, you see what I'm it saying. Is. And and of course they 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 don't want it to be dry and just telling it to at your, your barber at the barber right, shop or this that right. another. They want the world to hear these stories too. You understand Definitely. me? So it's like they get it all right here. So I feel like it's like I don't know y'all y'all therapists. Y'all yeah, gotta start seeing y'all self as <laughs> therapists to some of these artists and these entertainers because they come out here and they vent. They really be like getting it. Like you said, they getting they get you like, it. You like I ain't expect all that shit. Right. Yeah. They didn't know because a lot of people. <laughs> Talk after and then get afterwards done. they're like, you know what? I didn't mean to say that much. Man, can the, you can you take the, that out? Yeah, no, we can't take that. The out. latest <laughs> one was a uh, Pippin Ken said, you know, Pimp C, he had a tape. He had a six. We did not expect I'm that. Like, no, yeah, I seen that. that. I seen that. It went Nobody crazy. Everybody I seen picked that. it up and started taking it. He went to be out. He went everywhere with that thing. I he seen it. I seen he had to address it. Yeah. He was like, man, I wasn't trying to call him. But it was another. What happened? It was another guy that took the story and put people in those places and made it look away. So he had to go on Beehive and, and basically recant the stuff that was going viral that was going viral in the wrong way. Now, on my show, it, even behind them, they shouted out Boss Talk 101 because mm -hmm. they say, you know, we didn't say that, but it's being taken that way by certain people. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, man, I just give you the story. He called me that night. Even when I'm coming back on Boss Talk, nigga, you got me lit out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's get nah, it. I fuck with Ken. I've been fucking with Ken man, for love that like dude, man. years. Like, we I used to run to Ken at Big T. He was, yeah, he was yeah. pushing the DVDs, hustling, though. He always yeah. doing He's it. He's a hustler. He sold me two when he was here. He probably gonna send me two when I get to ATL. Oh, yeah. Probably the, we got the, the next. Probably the same two. He hey, cold oh, yeah. like that. <laughs> oh, he was cold. Bro, I'm gonna tell you. He you gonna tell you go give it to somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I done done that for him though. Like I, I feel too. Him. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand I, that. I'm gonna yeah. tell you something. I tell you the first time I bought that DVD with Pimp C on it, we was at the DGs. Like I told him on here, and he know it. Mm -hmm. And when we left DGs that night, I told him no, nah, I don't want it. I had a blue hat on. The next morning, I was. I drove all the way to Tunica, Mississippi. Yeah. That nigga had told me that night, he said, I'm gonna follow you to you buy the DVD. Man, that nigga was in Tunica, Mississippi, six, seven hours away. At the store, I walked, I was in there doing something. He said, I told you I'm gonna follow the head to you buy. <laughs> nigga, I bought that DVD. I said, you're a nigga. Yeah, you gotta break a little bread. Hey, hey, this man. This nigga flies. He, it, was a, uh, it was some kind of thing going on in Tunica, Mississippi. I was in Memphis messing around. And I'll never forget that. I yeah. tell him that every time. The way that how well that nigga talk, you know that nigga's successful P. He oh, was yeah. super fly successful with them P. words. Yeah. I don't know where he get them words from, but he was so fly. <laughs> that pivot hell, boy. He shout out so to fly. Ken, man. Man, and shout out to him, man. And like I said, we we about to link back up. We already be talking about it. We gonna, we gonna get it, keep it going. Y'all yeah, gonna see a I, lot more stuff. I told him about the culture, man. It's like I'm just pushing for the culture to keep this thing to where people can understand the history. Most of the people, you know, it's a lot of niggas. Like me and Bobo, we talk all the time now. You know, he be on the show a lot. Mm -hmm. And I told Bobo, I'm like, he like, man, they just don't know the history. E. They just don't know the history. I said that's cause that's your fault. That's y'all fault because. 
we got to show them the history. But even having, even having legends like Bobo coming in here, giving you that. Them stories, like he been mm -hmm. having them stories. He could have gave them stories out. That's right. Like that's why it's like I think it had to be a comfortable spot though. It's most yeah. definitely, he done watched it. He done, he had to. No, he did. Know he could he come. called me. And this was the first place he came and did interview. Yeah, didn't go home. nowhere else. That's love. Like, cause he got he got all the stories. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And he loved Bob. We talked daily. We talked today for a while. Then mm -hmm. <laughs> we go. We chopped it up because I'm gonna be honest. I told you I'm a PMC fanatic. So yeah. when that nigga call, I'm like, whatever going on, stop. This nigga got my ear. Nigga, what you mm -hmm. say? Really? We be talking like that. So, but at the end of the day, he just a dope. Guy, man, that I think he's gonna go far. He feel to start his podcast I'm pretty soon, and I just know he feel to go in. Mm -hmm. He got a lot of stuff in man. the pipes and in developing, and that's a lot of stuff that we're doing. You know, we really staging the fact that he about to come on the scene, and it about to be a whole whole nother outlet. Yeah. I think Dallas is one of the most creative media basis yeah. that that people have and we don't realize that sometimes you can't see the picture from being in the picture exactly there's a lot of people here dope people here when you look at the dallas global when you look at uh real life street stars mm -hmm. when you look at uh uh what tune is he moved to houston but mm -hmm. when you look at big d the mogul like mm -hmm. all of the stay cheese tv mm -hmm. all that stuff out of here man and you don't really see that kind of stuff going on in other cities that deep and mm -hmm. embedded atlanta's somewhat like getting like it too though so you just gotta look and see what's going on. But I think Dallas has one of the most demanding and promoting like bloggers and, and cause I ain't mentioned all the blog. You got Trill Talk, no mm. Peel Talk. You got a lot of people, lot man, of people. that's doing this that's and they putting all these got stories different out here. Fan bases that exactly. if you can if you can tap in with each one of them, you can cover so much ground. You mm. just everybody gonna tapping see you. in with them folks. Everybody gonna see you. They gonna see you, man. And no, that's the thanks. dope part, man. So I know you have been on when you on Breakfast Brothers, uh the T V yeah, yeah, show. Yeah, I went on that. And when you went on that T V show, you know, we followed it up. Mm -hmm. We've been on there. So you know, we right behind you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a dope, it's a dope experience though. Shout out to Rick, man. Rick, man. Rick dope, man. Yeah, Rick putting it together, yeah. man. So so I mean, I love the energy in there too. I actually took the set and interviewed him down there. Yeah. Oh yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Nigga, I'm that but one. The set was live too, though. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted yeah, to get that live. scene. I wanted yeah. to get that whole scene. I said, "All right, let me do you down here." Why? Because he been on the show. Okay. But let me get out here with these cameras. Let me get out here with this backdrop. Let me let me get you on film. Yeah. While when our show come out, I can go and put yours out. With hours, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that'd be dope. But just thinking outside the box, bro. That's mm -hmm. it. You know, most people can't just pick up like that, but I got a dope wife that she got my back and we can mm -hmm. put these cameras together anywhere. That's <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all hustling. Like I told you, I see y'all moving, grooving. Y'all going bro. across the map, man. Y'all going across. You know how the movies be having the montages with the cart. It, it's it's <laughs> going out. They show the United States and they show the lines with the car following over there. <laughs> they going over there. Yeah, that's how it's going. Yeah, y'all doing what y'all supposed to be doing. Y'all yeah. hustling. Y'all going, going to the money. We was in New Orleans uh, a few weeks well a month ago months ago and uh, we was with uh, Mac Mac just got out from No Limit uh -huh. I Mac did him is. and then I did uh, a, Project I, Barbie I did Project Barbie Paco I did uh, KLC but the most dopest one I did was Sharani She's the one that started uh, like Birdman. She took she took BG's record and sent it to Universal. For she real. Get deal with deal. P mm -hmm. and, and and Baby. That's that they, and she's a store, the record store in New Orleans, where because back then nobody wanted to deal with rap, rap music, because they yes. thought it was too dangerous. It was too ghetto. It was too. You see what yeah. I mean? So she was like, "No, what are you talking about?" So everybody had to go through her stores. Yeah, man. She's had what four of. stores, so yeah. she'd been around for a very long time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, she a staple. Okay. And that's that's that was what we did our interviews at too. It's just dope to when you when they embrace you in the city like that. But it's dope when you got when you when you go to, to get the information and you approach it knowing like the history, like like what y'all even giving me that like she got these stores, y'all gonna go do it at these stores. What you tell me you finna go do in, in, in the shot. In the shot, yeah. It's like where where you gonna be at? The, it's it's just building that that I don't know, it's a, it's a suspense thing there as well, because it's like this is where I don't know. I just I don't know. I'm real into like, but you have to be to like me. That. You have to be older or a certain respect, frame of man. mind it's to, a to, thing, to man. No, really exactly. respect it and really know what it carries. Because this younger generation with all these young kids coming up rapping, doing music, they don't care about history. They don't care about a lot. But of they'll that stuff. watch it if you embrace it the way that it need to be embraced. It's like mixing a gumbo up if you put it together right. Yeah. They'll look at it. And, and I always say, I you can't get everybody. From you know no. what I'm saying? Some, some, some of these youngsters, they, they don't want to. It's cool. That ain't, that ain't y'all target audience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all target audience. 
it's, it's, it's a bunch of people that maybe haven't seen it. Like you said, them, mm-hmm. them folks that when it's when they see it served up and, 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 and packaged a certain way, you can get them. That's right. Like the other you know motherfuckers, they probably it, lost. You but know you know, know I mean? how you just want it being good people. You want to touch the mass. You want to touch everybody because yeah. even although it might not be your forte for you to know where you come from, know your history. Because as long as you black, you need to know this stuff. No facts. You understand what I mean? But some people don't care. But you need to know your history. A lot of people just living to die. Because they're not teaching it in schools. No, nah, for sure so they're not teaching it in school. You need to figure out how to learn it. Yeah. But I can tell you right now, like I said, with people like Bobo, Steve Bilo, uh, different people that have been in Dallas that mm-hmm. really love Dallas. This nigga live and breathe Dallas. Mm-hmm. I was rocking in Houston with Bum mm-hmm. being him. But nigga, I'm a Dallas nigga from heart. Snake and all these other niggas. Man, this nigga is the one. Like, he's going to be that one that can also feel these gaps where these youngsters can look back at the history and then know how to push forward a little mm-hmm. better. You know what I mean? So you, we just need to go to work. That's what I look at. Yeah. Uh, if we go to work, we can lay it and show it out how it is and next thing you know, people can look at it and kind of build from it. You yeah. know? I feel like they get all the information from the stories. That's the beauty of That's this, what it is. this, this um, platform because people can come through here tell a story that nobody heard before. You hear it, you hear it you from somebody that. that's right there. Right that was there. there. That, that's telling you the angle that they was at. And then y'all might get another motherfucker come through here that was there too. And they give you their angle of it. And, and, and now motherfuckers putting the whole story together. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, no, so that's it's, dope. it's just dope. Because I'm one of them niggas. I'm like, ooh, heard from them. Let me hear from them. Like, I'm, right. watching, I'm watching like you that. You have to hear both sides. Exactly. Let me let me ask you about the just the, the boogie movement and the, and the, and the way. Because that's where you came in at, right? Mm-hmm. Like, how was it like that energy and that feel? And do you feel like we are sitting in the right place since we've made it thus far. Uh, as far as that, that um, early in on that movement, uh, I was like, I was like one of the younger niggas. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I was a, I boogied. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I was de- one of the dancing niggas, but as far as like getting my music in it, it was hard. Was it? Like, I don't believe I had like a boogie record during the boogie movement. Yeah, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I had Mr. Hit That on here, and we was talking about it, and he was telling me some stuff. Man, that nigga told me so many different things, man, about how it started and just just the things that he went through, you know, far as being, because mm-hmm. he used to come in shop he was during being that in time. The, in, in the boogie movement. So, was so, his time reign during the time of yours, or was it before? No, that, that time was before. I, I, I don't, I'll say, damn, how can I explain this? Um... To me, it was more so of a uh, junior high, high school. Okay. I ain't going to say like college pro. Correct. Type shit. Junior high, high or school. Or I'm going to say college. No, I ain't going to say college pro. Matter of fact, we keep it Junior high, high school. So junior high was like me, Young Nation, DMV. Yeah. Um, which is got like shot. It's a lot of niggas still doing their best shit that's come from out of DMV. Uh, uh, DJ White Chocolate was in that, that era. Um, it was... Um, the GS boys, all, Prince and all them boys, they had they they moving, but they got in on the main screen. Yeah, side they moved of that in. Shit. Yeah, we was all on the ground with it. We was doing um holding walls, the club getting shot up. Yeah, mm-hmm. we run around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, doing what? every more every ch- doing the chilling circuit. Was that um, Rack Daddy time? What, what club? No, nah, that was that was this is um a, a little bit after Rack Daddy time. Um, a nigga done done plenty of shows at Rack Daddy. Daddy. Though. <laughs> Both of them. So this was before, you know, because we had rainwater on here. So rainwater talk about a Hawaii trip that he was taking. Yeah, a lot this of people was this was before. The I think the, all this stuff See, happened. No, no, so th- that, like that. So yeah, boom. because he said he took he a did. lot of people. He, he so did that. He did so that. He did reach out to you too. No, no, no. See, this is what I'm trying to tell you. I so was it was a junior high side of this, okay. and then you had the high school side of this, which you had your Trilly, Prince Ricks. Yeah, your, your, that, that's how I hit that's that. It, that. All yeah. that shit like that. Your young tees. You had uh the rose. Doing his best yep. shit. Uh, God damn, it's so much. Y'all, y'all I'm on the spot. <laughs> party boys. Fan, party boys. Uh, yeah. Niggas gonna be mad at me. I don't care though, because it's. I miss uh, those what? days. I, I really remember Damn D had that. Yeah. yeah. She just. Well, man, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Like, we, we were sneaking in the club. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we were sneaking we was, in the I, I was sneaking in the club. Papa Ron was like, nigga, her grandma, grandma DJ shit. Come on. Come on. Type shit. Like, that's how I was getting in there hearing this shit. Like, yeah. Like, even just learning. Learning how to make the music that was just a little bit more mature, cause I was already having my way. Like everybody that was in the junior high shit, we was 
<laughs> Nick, we was already analytically, if you would have got them, uh, like I always love to say, simulate our lives in that next two years, we was going to be in position anyway because we was okay. working our ass off. And all the kids that, that was around us at the time that was our age, they was turning 18. 19 them next we was gonna be the ones in the club so now y'all gonna have to play us yeah you know what yeah, i'm saying they gonna yeah. be requesting this shit like they ain't they they ain't in the clubs right now they out here at these house parties and these these little teen events playing our shit they're not playing that grown shit you understand what i'm saying so it just kind of translated over that's why i said it was more so of trusting the process and it grew with it but even with that i was on the low side of that yeah i wouldn't never, I, I never I, I don't feel like i was ever um pushed to the forefront of none of that shit yeah yeah, I think people just notice like this but nigga is swimming through every water. He just he, he we won't go away. No facts, and I think that's dope because that's what built tenacity and strength. To be honest with you, no facts. Cause it I was just more so. It was frustration. It, you know, you when you know you dope, Did and you, it's just more so a thing of you have to understand. Like what I was learning during that time was more so understanding the game and just where I was at at the time. You never was frustrated to a point of where you was gonna give it up. Nah, I, I, in my mind, I ain't never. You was really? always. I ain't never it. been a quit. I, I lie and be like, yeah, long line. <laughs> but you know, that's, that's just to get people talking. That's to get yeah. the algorithm going. You did yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, that's like those people who talk about, oh, I'm retiring, and then come right back around. <laughs> <laughs> I done did that. <laughs> I done did that. I'm telling you, like, but but what it does is the people that don't want you to go, you get that love. You know what I'm saying? Mm, you yeah. might need that that day. Might need it that Everybody day. Everybody like, hell no. You be like, you you other it, people will step up and speak. I don't. I don't it's just I don't never normally even talk. Yeah, they never talk, and, and and them be the people that you need to see, not the all people right. that's around you every day. Like, all right, I always tell people all the time, like, monetize everybody around you. When you see that everybody around you ain't making your ends meet, you got to go get. You got to build that fan base. You inspire. You inspire Giovanni the Great. This little dude. He talk about you like, man, this dude, you you really inspired him in Waco. You know, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, he did, he just did Hot Boy West. It's my dog. Mm -hmm. He did Hot Boy West Boosie, a song. But but I be looking at it, I be like, man, you know, because he, when he when I met him, I was through you yeah. when he came here. And he just the way that he respected you and your movement and how he talked about it. He, he was like, man, that, man, I fell in love when I seen him running at the school. You know, this is the stuff that I, I, I hold on to. Yeah. That's the stuff I hear. I'm like, that's dope, man, because that was, now look what it sparked in him. But shit, I took shit from Gio at the time. Like, at the time that I met Gio, Gio had a, um, his manager name was Big Philly. Like, now I'm giving y'all these good stories now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He got a manager name, Big Philly, at the time. And Big Philly is a graphic designer. Okay. So, in Giovanni, he always been good with the cameras and whatnot. He got that from Big Philly. That's why he shoot videos and okay. whatnot. Okay, okay. So, his look was always on 100. Yeah. I'm like, all right. I ain't never heard a song from this nigga, <laughs> but this nigga, he looked look, like a star. It's there, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? It, even just as far as the presentation. Right. So just me tapping in and locking in with him, I'm like, hey, what you doing? He like, oh, I'm using Photoshop, and boom. He'll tell you. I'm like, what programs you recording on? I'm a learner. You learn it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, with me, he probably just saw talent. Yeah, yeah. But see, I just, I'm a hustler, so I'm looking around, always trying to, build what I got Elevate. going mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that, that's like some more podcasters coming here right now and they sit back in the cut and don't learn nothing. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And they growing. They just sitting over there and they in their phone instead of looking around, coming over here trying to see what programs you, you, you recording to get the mic in. You understand me? What what um SIM card do? That's me though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's how I've always out. been. That's like, dope. still to this day, I'm that's a learner. Dope, like, every day I want to learn some something people, new. Some that's why I said some parents will call their kids and like, ooh, you nosy. But it's not really that you nosy. You, you're you eager for information, no matter what the information is. Yeah. You're eager to learn. Yeah, that's why that's why it's called research. You got to go search it. You got to go gotta search gotta for search. this shit. Like, if you're not searching, it ain't just going to fall in your lap. So when them, when them songs first hit the uh, uh, Shake Them Haters off, uh, what was that? Uh, what was it? The, uh, the, the My Duggies. All these different songs, then yours, throw that ass in a circle, man. Where was your mindset at when that song hit like that? Um, I'm just thinking about the bangers that come out of the city. You know what I'm saying? My mindset at the time, I was in, um, actually, I was in Atlanta when I dropped Circle. Okay. And uh, I was doing some shit with, you know, labels. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was my first real taste of some label shit. And just it was just weird. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was weird. Motherfucker got me there. Um, 
You could ask Half Pint Half Pint was there uh, oh, yeah. Mike Fresh was there Lil Zach the DJ He was there Like these folks can vouch And these folks um, These folks I got in the room With these folks And these folks Wanted me to make A um, cowboy twerk song <laughs> No So I'm talented enough To do it But it's still like It was like pulling teeth You dig what I'm saying It just wasn't It wasn't natural It wasn't a jammer It wasn't It wasn't what I was on I was on some young Wow Like I say wow Outlandish shit Like I I'm more so of a uh, I catch you off guard with my bars. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I like I'm use comedy. I you I'm just I just be me on my records. Yeah. So it was more so it was a forceful thing, and it was terrible, and I ain't want to meet with no more labels. <laughs> you want to meet with them no more? Because I had just dropped Circle. I'm sitting there telling them like, why we in here trying to make new records when well, y'all can take this motherfucker and blast push it out? It. And but I'm glad they didn't because with it taking an independent route, what it did was it slow it slowly grew. And it slowly grew. It got bigger and bigger and bigger. It goes viral every month. Right now. Right now. It's a what? It's a crackhead in Milwaukee dancing in mud. Right now, this weekend went viral. Um, two days ago, Haley and Chloe Bailey is skating on their TikTok to it. Uh, like it's just That's it happens. Crazy. Like it's one of them things where it's one of God's gifts to That's me. It. Like so man, you sure. stay you stay on social media every day looking to see who. It's taking it viral or you get notifications? They tag, no, they tag, they tag me. Tag they tag you. Yeah, they tagging me. That's love. I literally just got to the point where I follow somebody that ain't following me. I never was for that. <laughs> like, I just never was for it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like to have the relationship. You know right. what I mean? Like, I feel right. like it's not necessary. Like, I can be a fan of you and go to your page and go off your page. Yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah. have to be following you. I don't need you on my timeline and you and you ignoring a nigga all day. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, ignore, yeah. That's why I don't ignore none of my people and shit like that because yeah. I know how I feel to just be another comment. Man, that's probably right. why you like Pimpin' Ken because he say he, uh, what he say? He Hollywood. Mm -hmm. so he, uh, even though he be with some of the biggest people and he send me these texts and show me these things, he still, he out here with the common everyday man because yeah. he knows that 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 means something. That These are people that, that really he, he locked in man, with. The only difference between you in the common person is a mindset. It's nothing physical. It's nothing that that will keep like. That's why I'm like, man, I can't I can't treat people fucked up because I'm in a better position. Because it's like mm -hmm. that's just my mindset put me here. If they had that same mindset, they can be here. You see what I'm saying? What's the craziest thing ever happened to you uh, as far as a, a fan? Something that, it don't have to be crazy. It could be something sentimental too. Oh, craziest thing ever happened to me? A oh, fan did. Damn. Pulled you off stage. Oh, pull, pull, I, I got pulled off yeah, stage that's plenty of times. Like put, I done got my drawers pulled off me on stage. <laughs> Seriously, they it's, on, no, it's on YouTube. It's no, on YouTube. No. Yeah, they pulled my whole booty out. <laughs> pulled my whole booty out. They try to get to you. Yeah, they try to get to me. That was that was when I had my hot top. That was in them younger days. Oh right yeah, there. you were loving it. You were. Hey, I'm well, tough. I, I, what? My, 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 people, like, my people was like, stop getting so goddamn close I'm to the man. <laughs> like, man, you don't feel this love, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> When the last time you had people pulling at that, you? That's dope, man. So we just love. You gotta feel that. Like that's one of them things that, as an artist, you want to feel that. Like, yeah. Anybody ever fainted yet? Um, I hope not. I ain't <laughs> never seen it. I ain't never seen. It. I done, I done had people cry. I don't get it. I ain't mad at it. Cause they love you. I don't get it. You don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But the, but you but you know I respect I respect. It. Let me tell you, I heard a story, and I'm not gonna say which artist this happened to. But um, I was told that um, this artist had a stalker. Mm -hmm. This is how it was. So he wasn't at home. He had security and all of that. This chick went through the mud, yeah. got up to his house, broke the window. So she didn't come through the front door. She broke the window, snuck into his house, went into his room. She cleaned herself Took up. Took a shower. And roses, in his house? In his house. Roses all over his bed. Waiting on him. Waiting on him to come home. The alarm went off, so he called the police, so the police came in. But when he came in, he saw all them roses and all of that sort of stuff. The police had to escort her in handcuffs out of the house. Yeah, see, that's scary, see. <laughs> see, we're not living like that. <laughs> First off, like, you breaking my house, like. That's when you have a, um, a fan that feels like. Hey, that's man. not a fan no more. <laughs> you, you know, you cross that line. You a threat. Yeah, 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 you a threat. You know, you, um, you, you know, you, you, you breached. You breach why you breach security. Yeah, you breach security at really, this point. Really, and I feel it, like it, it, you got you got you, you know My family in here for sure. I don't play like that. Even even before I was in a position and having a family and things of that nature, I couldn't. I, I don't believe it would work like that with me. No, I I don't know. I feel like the police would be coming to pick somebody up. 
Mm. But not like that. Like you in my house already. I ain't there. You in there? You have some. You startled me. You startled yeah, me no, when I got there. Crazy man. I done walked in and, and, and see roses and shit. I got to pick up roses and shit. <laughs> what the hell is this? Yeah, this yeah. Ain't no coming she left that for you. Nah, I, uh, you know that. You no. Know, I weird. got I got more bookers that got my name tatted on them that I ain't never even. And like, your face and all that. Stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's, it just come for you. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Here, here I am again. I ain't mad at it, but I wouldn't have done that. And if I could have talked to them before they did that, I would have told them not Don't to do, do it. Not to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's just me being the type of guy I am. Yeah. You know, I'm not. I, I feel like that. I feel like in order to be an artist, what I've been watching here lately is um, they make it to where you got to be like a narcissist. Like you got to just like be about you, 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 you. Like that shit is draining when I when I see certain people and they just always talking about them and they don't even be really nothing going on. It's like you trying to you trying to force yourself to like yourself. That that might be real. I gotta, I gotta talk that about might this. be real though, because you know a lot of times people, like when I give people advice, I give them advice not just for them, but really for me. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when people are in the mirror or on social media talking about themselves, mm -hmm. it's really because they don't like themselves. Because a lot of artists go through a lot of pressure, yeah, a lot of um to stay on top, yeah. And some people do give in and put their morals to the side and, and just do whatever just to stay on top. Exactly. That's one thing I can applaud you for because you don't ever follow the masses. I can't. My mama didn't raise me like that. I can't. I love the fact that you don't do that. I see how you move with, you know, your kids, mm -hmm. family, everything like that. That's that's the world to you, right? That's the world. That's that's all that really matter to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, that um What's that guy named? I was looking for it. The one that uh, just died because he was at this girl house. What is man? Name? Rest in peace, trouble. 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 Yeah, that was it. I was hearing the story, and that's I thought about when you said they broke in the house. Mm -hmm. But this was the thing where this girl had a person or something the way it came. But I but just, they weren't together. But they weren't together. Right. She but broke still, up with but, him but like I seven days people, before. I say this all the time. A week when you're in the country, <laughs> like man. I don't. I, I go to the country, right? Remember how you sell clothes? I be in the country, man. I be hustling. I never would talk to these people, women out in the country like that. Because let me tell you something, man. It's dudes that like women, even though they was together. It's dudes that like women. When you come to that country and they ain't seen you, they already go with that woman in their mind, and because there ain't nobody else there. Dog, when I go to country towns, <laughs> for, look for the past ten years, you come in a country town, they appreciate you. They do. First off. Everybody appreciates you for being there. But you got them haters that's like, man, fuck this. I don't it's like that nigga, nigga man. Nigga coming in, everybody yeah, 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 yeah. Because this they town. This they town. So, you know, we play on their mind. We, we, I see the niggas, hey, hey, nigga, come over. Come up here, nigga. Take this bottle. <laughs> That's it. Show them love. Yeah, we gonna show you love. We gonna we gonna we gonna counter that with some love. That's cause, real. Cause, Cause at the end of the day, I don't want nothing here. No, I'm just coming I'm to bring my, my back, back in. I'm here to make these folks enjoy themselves tonight. That's it. I don't want your I don't want your old lady. But they be thinking that in their mind. What you just said yeah. in their mind, they know you fly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Or maybe, like, maybe they're old lady looking at you. They know but, you but fly. That's, what, that's that's what's going on. But it's like, man, what's the reality? This is what I want. Like, if I can have a quick. Come back here, talk to me real quick. It'll be 30 seconds. What's the reality of me taking your girl, making her mind, I'm move to Dallas, move my girl out the house, move, kick my kids out the house, change my whole life for your girl right here in this town. I don't even know what she do, don't know her name. Why would I do that? Bro, this your gal. Exactly. You know what hey, I'm you, saying? You, this yours. Now, one of my partners wants some ass from her, and she gonna push up like, <laughs> that's, <laughs> hey, hey, man. That ain't me. She, she y'all, that's that girl. She you know what I'm saying? But I don't want her. <laughs> it's too much of a hazard, too, you understand me? Like, I was always, like, weary like that on the road, too. Like, coming up, just dealing with women. Like, man, I don't know none of y'all. You know, periodically from trouble going back Dolph uh, it's been more it's been a Mo lot three. more Mo3 Mo3 but it's been more it's been a lot more you got the great all these boys but you got different people in there that little boy that killed himself up here this uh, in hip hop is it because it's more 
it rappers now or something it seemed like it almost seemed like you they're targeted for for evil or something bad happening right. you, you understand what i'm saying other genres is don't it, suffer it, from it it's got a lot more rappers now yeah. too though little runny i wouldn't say that i wouldn't say the reason I, I would say a lot of genres um don't suffer from it is uh well other genres do suffer from it but when they when way. they yeah when they when they start die be overdoses Overdose. and things of that of that nature like something they did to, to die self mm. a lot of these artists um they get into a position and uh, they one foot in, one foot out. And, and what I mean by that is, or, or they people still there. So yeah. they, they, they in the streets still. At the end of the day, I personally know what music money look like. You understand know what I'm saying? I know how long it take to come. The real, you know who getting it. You, you so, can see who booked. Yeah. If they ain't posting no flyers, they not booked. They not booked like that. You understand me? If they doing shows and they ain't posting no flyers and they own it, they they not getting paid for that show. So they hustling at that point. Mm -hmm. So everything is 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 they spending money. Even if they got it, they spending it. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of these people not having these things. They just not having that. They not having that that security. You see so what I'm saying? So artists can only make a lot of money from book shows, or can they make a lot of money from other avenues in music? I mean, if your if your song streaming, streaming, yeah, you book. Okay. Pretty so much. that's where I be like, yeah, yeah. They can't fake me with the numbers. Right. You if, if they if they listening, somebody want to see you in live. They want to yeah. see this live. If this got ten million, they won't see it live. Yeah, yeah. Prime example, Lil Earl. He went yeah. up quick. He's booked. Mm. He's it's booked. that simple. He traveling like you crazy. get songs hot, you do shows. Everything else, you can you can become a um, personality where you make music, but people like your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. They'll book you to come host. They ain't, you ain't got no songs. They they know. Yeah. So they just really want to see you. See you. Right. So once once you get that run out, a lot of people dry up and get out. Correct. Like I've been here for a long time, so I, I see them come and I go, and I and I be knowing what they doing. I'm like, bro, he need a single right now. He hot, he hot with no single. If he can get a single, he gonna be out of here. And they never get a single. And then you got these artists like, man, oh, oh, I ain't making no single. It's not for radio. We talking about a song that just people can play over and over again. Over again. Somebody that can say, oh, this the song I know by you. Like when Young Dog came out, and then he had all them records, but when that preach hit, that's what book, he was that in Dallas book about. Like they, they calling now, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And you can do, and you can do, 30 songs I don't know but when you get to that song it's going up the, it, yeah yeah that's <laughs> it they want to see it at least once no I agree 100% I got a question about um, shows so I was told that um, when you travel everywhere else and you get booked that Dallas pays the most for book shows than anywhere else well, probably when you're true? not from here yeah th that's what I mean when you're not from here yeah, when is you're that not true from here. When you're not, oh, Dallas, they got the paper to do it. I done seen them bring artists in that I know they charging an arm and a leg. You see what I'm saying? Even if they patching up and to get these artists, like, these artists is coming and getting bags in Dallas for sure. They More love than anywhere. Coming there, but, the people, sure. but the people here in Dallas who are from here are not, do, not getting that from their own city. No, it's, it's a problem. But it's but not honoring his own country. The, but the beauty of it is, because you got to call it beautiful. Is this goes on in every city? That's it's correct. Not just here. That's so true. <laughs> I promise you, it's not just here. Like the artists that's in these other cities, the artists that's from there. I'm going to these cities doing my show. Like I'm like, yeah, come forward with me. Come forward with me. Yeah, come get on stage with me. That that gives get them booked, and they got a hot song. They're like, nah, I ain't get booked till they till you fuck with me. They saw you fuck with me, but that's just how they do you that's in your own you. town. Yeah, it's like growing up in a household. Like I used to tell people all the time. A lot of people just scream, I'm the king of this, I'm the king of that. That's like walking around your house screaming, you the king of this house. Who care? Nobody cares. Mm -hmm. You gotta go to your neighbor house and tell them you the king of that. That's right. So so everybody can know, oh, he the king of that house. That's it. But outside of your house, nobody don't know you the king of that they house. They don't know that. So you gotta go travel until you start, until everybody on the next street know, in, 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 in the next neighborhood, in the next city, in the next state know that. All that self-proclaimed stuff be so like it's a the, the game is so <laughs> narcissistic, dog. It it's sick because it, it be so it, the people that be narcissistic be the least talented motherfucker. Yeah, like, boy, yeah, yeah. They mama put confident confidence in they ass when they was little. <laughs> That's all I can see. Like I, I don't see it no other way. And yeah. ain't nothing wrong with it. But hip hop, like I always said, hip hop is one of them games where it ain't about who good. It's not a sport. Everybody like to compete, but this music industry it's is a not show. a sport. 
It's a show. It's not even. I wouldn't even say it's necessary. It's yeah. It's a it, show. It's a show for sure. And it's all about who's the most entertaining. Right. That's why I say it's a show. Even if it's terrible. Even mm-hmm. if it's cringe. If I can get a laugh on it every time I see it, I'm gonna click that before I you listen can be to this silly. To this you can be song. stupid. You can be whatever. I think I want to almost say TikTok caused that. No, nah, it's been, nah, it been way before that. that. <laughs> it's, this has been the beginning of entertainment. Like, this is where gimmicks come from. This is where this is why so many accidentally rich motherfuckers out there right now. Like, the game laugh can laugh you to a bag. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then people don't understand that when you start that way, you got to keep it up, even yeah, when sure. you don't feel like it. But you see the ones that don't know that. Cause they come and get washed up. They get washed up. I gotta ask mm. you about uh, the verses the other night. I've been me and Bobo been going back and forth about this. Did you watch it? Uh huh. And I, I just you know we had our thing. Uh, he looked at me when he was on this show and say, "I know you wanted it in Texas, nigga." I said, "Yeah, I felt like that. I would have went harder in Texas. I'm gonna tell y'all, nigga. I don't care about y'all trying to be him and Bum being politically correct, but I'm telling them that energy would have been different in the room. But see, they had their phones up. E, that's mm-hmm. Bobo. I say." Hell, they have phones at every show. <laughs> in my mind, I'm thinking, if, if it was coming like, if it was in Texas, they'd have their phones up, but niggas would have knew them songs, man. I just feel that way. Yeah. But I think they wanted to be on neutral ground. How did you feel about the verses? I mean, shit. OGs. OGs. Both of them. OGs. <laughs> yeah, you OGs can't take with, with, with a, a, a similar fan base, but two different fan bases. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Pushing two different cultures. Yeah. At the same like era though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is dope though, cause I I know they got out there and, and got to do them them records. And at the time, I I can just imagine they how they were when all when all this shit was happening. They never did a con. They never did no concert together. That's crazy. They but never worked together. A lot of people don't they they don't work in the moment. Yeah. I tell my niggas all the time. I'm like, bro, go watch the um the last dance with Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. Everything you seeing is your highlight right now. You in it? What you doing? Where your are you? Are you shining, or are you sitting around letting these years go by? And then you are gonna do a documentary and be like, "Damn, I only did one thing good." Damn. Like, nah, bro. You gotta be elite out here. You gotta be building your highlight tape. Y'all building y'all highlight tape as we speak. Yeah, no. Nah, you see you what right. I'm saying? You right. I'm walking in my highlight right now. When I'm goddamn sixty, I wanna be telling a million stories about what I was doing yeah. from this time to this time. Mm. So when you think about that versus the song, I felt the missing of Pimp C. It was like a tribute to Pimp C to mm-hmm. me. Like, and I know it bun because he opened it up and he like, I'm going to show love, you know, and he had the shirt under there. I was like, damn, I miss Pimp C. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm being real in my mind. Pimp, man, Pimp. That's a big <laughs> Pimp yeah. would have been. But man, it would have went stupid, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it would have been a verse. It would have been a real verse. It would have been on a tribute. It would have been, yeah. He'd have been tripping. He'd have went in. That would have been, this the real style. They'd have yeah. been like, whoa, what is the real style, baby? Calm down, bitch, baby. Calm yeah. down, baby. Man, do you know how much ruckus this dude has caused, man, since he passed away? How people have really came to the forefront and be like, nigga. Is pimp, man. But then when even, you look at even it, Megan, I'm the I'm the Tony Snow, you know what I mean? But look at it, Tony though, Snow. Look, look at the game at that time. Nobody was that vocal. No. And when they were vocal, they were being politically vocal. Pimp was saying what the fuck he wanted to say from his heart. And he definitely from was down heart. with that south like nobody being his I'm, I never seen nobody ripping like that. From I his probably heart. never see it again. From his heart. <laughs> he meant it. He, he meant it. it. He, st- he stood on business. Stood on business. Like, you, we might got good laughs and all that shit when he was doing what he was doing. That nigga meant that. And now it makes sense because shit, niggas like me, he paved the way for niggas like me. Damn. You right. You know what I'm saying? You right. Well, we've still been, oh, them country niggas don't, can't spell ABC. That, that's right. Because that's what they thought of us. You that, see what I'm saying? He, he said, nigga, boy, that, that quit ain't in the South. I never get enough for listening to him mm-hmm. talk on there, man. Because he made some niggas, and, and Willie D, God, dog. Mm-hmm. Willie D, a problem, man. You're <laughs> a dog. <laughs> them Texas boys, dog. serious, man. A dog. So when you think about, okay, here's something I asked Lil Kiki, man. I'm going to ask you the same thing. Um, when you look at, Say, when you look at Dallas and Houston, mm-hmm. uh, I asked Lil Kiki, I was like, uh, you know, 
why do he feel why do he think that you know the Houston scene and the Dallas scene they have music together but it's a separate entity you know what I mean mm -hmm. I almost want to answer my own question but I want to know what you think about it why is it seems it's Texas but it seems you separated. know separated um uh, I wouldn't say it's separated, especially now. Like I feel like it's more tapped in than it ever been. Okay. At this point, a lot of artists just fuck with each other from Dallas to Houston. They're younger, but shit, that's the beauty of it. You know what they I'm saying? They do. That, they, yeah, Sauce they, Walker and them really coming down here a lot. They, they love in. it here, man. Yeah, they tap but in. But Pimp used to come here. That, that was his thing. He yep. loved Dallas. But Pimp used to be with Bobo now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no artist to do this to. Because how I look at it still to this day, like from an artist perspective, when you look at Dallas and Houston, it's just, it, it, it's more structure. It's like big brother, little brother. Okay. And we little brother. Yeah. We we, we, we bring a whole nother energy. I'm not, you know, we don't take nothing from what we got going, but it's just far as um what we got to see um in the industry, niggas win, like big, doing rap. And eight's done that. They got a lot of... <laughs> They got a lot of niggas up right now that don't rap no more that came in rapping. Like they did the game. They played the game and won. So they they, they taking that game and tossing that game back. And yeah. tossing that game back to them youngsters. You see what I'm saying? More so with us, we had some people get in, but maybe they, they didn't get no information like that. You know what I mean? Or maybe they didn't get, I don't know. I don't, I, I, nobody personally reached down to me and gave me no information. You had to come with it. You feel what I'm saying? I, everything I went, but I went and bumped my head. When you think about, I know ESG said that pretty much Houston, because you know he from Louisiana, but he moved to Houston. He said Houston found their sound. But when you look at Dallas, to him, one may rap this way, the other may rap this way, and it didn't find its sound like Houston had a, a sound that they was mm -hmm, that capturing they and creating and pushing. Yeah, does everybody that, pushed, that make sense everybody to you? pushed the, that one, that, well, yeah, everybody pushed that one sound. Well, that unit that, that popped at that time, like yeah. Screw and all yeah. that, and then everything that trickled off from under that, even if they didn't reach back, just being able to see that, that's what I'm saying, like, just being able to see somebody win, like to me, I couldn't. That couldn't be in my in, right there with me, and me seeing, oh, that's what you did. That's what you did. That's what you did. That create other dogs, but not seeing it, you just you, you know you getting blindfolded and going. Yeah, and you falling into the you falling into sticker bugs. You falling into all this type of shit when you are doing it. How I can say how I did. I don't know all the other artists, but yeah, even like because I know Houston might like, man, everybody reach down and give me nothing. Man, just seeing it sometime, you might have seen it and, and, and just applied it to yourself. You, he ain't have to tell you that. You got it from him though. You so know that, what I'm saying? That, that rap a lot, carpet men crazy, a lot. crazy. That men to a see lot. That, imagine anybody could, could can see that firsthand. It's right there. Come on, man. That 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 births other hustlers. That births other. CEO of Lance P said affected him. Yes. That's what it is. So growing up not seeing shit like that, shit, you just in a in a pit of swimming. Everybody doing songs, like you said. Yeah. There was a point in time where Dallas was mad at Dallas because they sounded like Atlanta. But I was like, how can you be mad at these niggas for sounding like what all the DJs play? Yeah. They playing Atlanta. They not playing these niggas. <laughs> Let me get this nigga, this is obviously um the sound that y'all want. Let me goddamn get close to it so y'all can play my record. So that's what niggas was on. So I, I understand look, every aspect when I look at it. I get it. I was, I was, I was like, well, you know, prison, Dallas Cowboys, that separates Houston Oilers or Houston Titans, whatever. Mm -hmm. That those are those are gaps because mm -hmm. these niggas is in here. Really, I know they not playing about that. That whole Dallas Houston niggas will die over that. Yeah. And on lockdown, I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. That, that makes a that makes for an issue in itself. Yeah. That we don't talk about. But yeah. it, it's an issue. I know firsthand mm -hmm. it's a damn issue. <laughs> yeah. no, but, thanks. <laughs> but because sports is big, right? So people like, hell no, nah, I'm with Dallas. Nah, I'm with it. and it'd be going down just like that. Mm -hmm. Um another thing me and Lil Key talk, talked about was he he was like, I love Dallas, man. I even got a whole C D with uh Don Chief, Big Chief. Mm -hmm. Like we have, we did a whole project together. I Shout love to Don Dallas. Chief, man. Yeah, he loved. He said, I love Dallas, and man, love Don Chief. Don Chief worked hard during his era. He was in his own bubble, look like, bro. Mm -hmm. From my perspective, mm -hmm. when I looked at Don Chief and the way he was doing them eat greedy volumes and all that stuff, bro, he had his own. When you went in Big T and you went by Capital Bum or you went by uh, Diamond D, Diamond D. you heard this nigga, man. Mm -hmm. 
And that nigga would work, and he would bring it through. Like y'all work, man. Listen, man. The, the whole city need to understand man, listen, what we Chief, did in Dallas. Me and Chief, <laughs> me and Chief been locked in all year. <laughs> no, real shit. For real? Like yeah, like That's just dope. we we got some shit. We got records for real. We just get, like me and Chief talk every morning. That's dope. Every morning, I can't make this shit up. I can't, like, for you to just draw brain, Chief, Chief gonna be like, oh, man, it feel good. <laughs> I'm telling you, because he appreciate that type of no. shit, just because he we, we done had them conversations where he feel like a lot of niggas didn't understand, like, what he was doing and the shit he was putting together and how instrumental it was. Oh, it, was niggas my, it, was, it was ready. This before the internet. It was before no. the internet. <laughs> and the nigga, like I said, as far as lyrics and the way he was getting around beats and cadences and do, doing his thing, he was popping, man. I mean, Jim Jones, all them niggas knew it. These mm -hmm. niggas knew it. They felt it in New York. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? They felt it everywhere because it was going. Chief dropping, if I'm not mistaken, it's either the 9th or the 8th of July. Asachi is summer, so shout out to Chief. I'm, gonna drop a, gonna drop I'm trying project. to bring that boy back on here, but I'm trying to do it in a way. I had some plans, you know that, with him and, and them guys because I wanted to come bless the game. Yeah. There's some guys I want to really... You know, it's a monumental thing for me because I yeah, love yeah. Dallas, man. So I'm trying to get him and uh, Lucci and Pookie back on here. You know, oh, that's hard. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm throwing with it, bro. I'll be over here trying I talk to figure to Luch, it out. Like, these yeah, me niggas, too. I, 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 I tell them all the time, I'll be like, bro. Because they be like, look, bro, you got them? I'll be like, nah, nigga. Y'all niggas, I saw this shit. Like, yeah. like, these are the things that I did get to see. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like you said, you seen that shit? You at Cap Capital Bomb, New Era. Yeah, I'm in there. My sister work in New Era, so yeah. I'm getting all this shit. <laughs> you in there. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm knowing Diamond D, I'm a little bitty nigga yeah. running up there. Like, you get old enough, you come work in here. <laughs> Type shit. Like, me and Diamond locked in. Me like, and him too. To see him hustling, doing what he doing, making legit money Right there, you know what I mean? He just, did, he did and it's same. still there. It's, it's a still staple. going. Yes. It's a staple. Yes. So just to see niggas winning, it's a lot. Of, like you said, it's a lot of bosses out here. Yes, sir. It's a lot of bosses out here to talk to. They just, I feel like the game done drain. You know, the game, the game would drain you out of um wanting to just like be in the light. Yeah, and doing what you're doing. Like it's like, all right, let me just make my money now. Yeah, like, I'm cool with like trying to be on the, this and that and the, like because these little niggas, bro. They posting five times a day. Yeah, yeah. Like, nigga, you can't keep up, bitch. You better get out of the way. <laughs> That's just real talk. Yeah, you yeah. want to be an artist? You got these niggas, baby, want to be artists? I'm like, bro, these little niggas is posting a lot. They giving content, content on top of content, on top of content, on top of content. If you can't do that, man, you got to get out the way or you got to put your best foot forward every time you come. No, one hundred percent, man. I'm glad you just told me that his project jump dropping it. I'm gonna try to get him in here before that. When I come back from Chicago, I'm gonna hit them boys up. And try to, you know what you gotta do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We gotta get him in here because, like I said, I've been. I already talked to. I talked to Pook and Lucci. I hadn't talked to Don Chief, but I'm gonna talk to him. I got. I call. I call Chief. Yeah, yeah. When we got, got him up, like, I got you. Yeah, man. he got to get over here because you know how I do it, man. Yeah, yeah. It, Because I know already what what it brings. It's, people get to see this, man, and it's a it's something special in it. And I don't think people really ever tapped into it in a way to where if you put it. Just right, people are gonna respect it even mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. And ain't no telling where it can turn up. I just, I know I have faith in God too. So I already know, like, if I take one step forward, he's gonna take two toward me and anything can happen. No, facts. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's the facts. way I feel. I gotta talk to you about uh, you jumping out that damn airplane or some helicopter, mm -hmm. whatever that was. I don't know. It was, it, 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 it was a plane. I, you know, I don't I mean, know. I, I ain't gonna lie. First I was like, thing, he's like, he crazy. I said, they're crazy right now. He crazy. Nigga, I I'll would, never do that. We, saw, we looked Bro. at it together, and he was like, no. Nah. Y'all wanna know something that's funny? List. That was that. It wasn't a bucket list thing. What it was, it was me. Um, It was me. I was, I was telling myself, like, I always have to, like, get in my own head. Because, like, growing up, I ain't ride roller coasters. Okay. My first, uh, Have y'all ever been to Six Flags? Yes. I been, this I never one, rode a... You don't ride that don't shit? don't do that. He don't ride it. So you ride rides? Sometimes. So have you, have you rode the Runaway Mountain? Yes. Have you rode the Runaway Mountain? So it's it's pitch black in there, right? Mm-hmm. That was the first roller coaster I rode. That was the first roller coaster I rode. So anybody that know, I'm a kid, my mama, sister, brother, they're like, oh, come on, this this your first roller coaster? This is going to be easy, it's light, and it's, it's nothing it's going easy, on. It's easy, but it's scary. You don't see shit. But it's scary. I freaked out. I won't get on shit else. So my whole life, I never rode roller coasters. So I find myself going. I used to go to the go to the um top of the line, and I walk through. 
Go down, wait for my mom and them come <laughs> the Like it just they 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 fuck me up with that. Like I yeah. can't see that motherfucker got it twirling and whirling and going on. I get motion sickness real bad. Like I can't even swing on the swing too long. Really? So, yeah. When I started, I almost threw up. Oh, it was going on that shit. Yeah, yeah, so what made you, you want to do it? Look good. I said I need to, like I ain't rode a roller Overcome coaster the fair. in fifteen years. Like. And you that, didn't want to ride a roller coaster, so I, you just I, don't took wanna, it, I still don't want to ride a roller coaster. You just took it. Let's elevated. get it over with. So when somebody, when I go to the, the next amusement park, when I take my kids to Disney, man, they like you ain't riding. Man, I jumped out of motherfucking plane. I ain't got to get on no. Uh, yeah, I went <laughs> even bigger and better. You went. I'm done. I'm done. I don't blame you. I never got on them rides, and so I never. So you gonna will. have your kids get on the on the roller coaster, and you not gonna get on there with them at all. Enjoy y'all That's what fact, they want to pay do? for the picture um, when it. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope they do, but that's not me. That yeah. ain't going down like so that. How did it feel? I want to know. How did it feel? Yes. All right, your stomach don't drop. It don't. So, imagine jumping off this table and. But you floor. were safe because he was. He's a professional and he's behind you. Yeah, but see what they doing is all day. He is jumping out of a plane. Right. He when, when he came when they came and scooped us up. They had just jumped with somebody else. So that shit just back to back to back to back to back. You couldn't get ready. Let me get ready. Now I was sitting there, they take you through a training course. That's what you're doing. As you sit, they got a nice little time slot where everything moves like this. So the plane moving, it's another plane coming, it's another plane coming. They got their workers. They got the people in there teaching you what you need to know, how you need to be doing so you don't fuck up the nigga behind you. But I think you do it four times and then you can jump by yourself. Like, that ain't enough times no. for me to put my life in my no. hands. No, I need about seven, no, ten. But, uh, and I think about it at ten. You just need one? Hell no. Uh, I can't do it, bro. So who did it with you? Pint. Oh, he did it? Stretch did it with me. Pint did it. Um, Who else did that shit? So it was one more person, I think. But if not, it was it was for sure them two. Yeah, I think it was just them. Have, oh, they, have they done it before? Never. So everybody, everybody who has came. the funniest reaction? Not that, everybody. Okay. Because <laughs> I know y'all. So I'm cool the whole time. I'm in my head. I'm cool. It's my birthday too, y'all. So this is <laughs> this happened last year. Okay. It, was, it was last year, last July. Okay. So boom, I'm like, cool. Let's go do this shit. I'm finna go do it. I'm I'm in there. My little girl, she in a little thing. My girl there. My, my partner's like, yeah, all right, boy, you want to do this shit? We doing it. We going to do it with you. We thugging with you, bitch. Let's go. Cool. Let's get to it. Go through the training course. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the one in class joking, playing. Oh, yeah, it's funny. I'm, I'm trying to be comfortable. You know, I'm yeah. trying to psych myself out. I ain't ate nothing, though. Yeah, because you, you drank a Red Bull. Oh, damn. Drank a Red Bull. Plane come. It's all gravy. You dig what I'm saying? Get on the plane. I'm talking my shit out. Put my little ugly goggles on and whatnot. <laughs> We get up there. I'm used to flying, so flying is no problem. We all the way up there looking out. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's it right here. That's it. We finna do this, y'all. Hell no. They when like, that they door like, opened and you stood up nah, right there? I wanted to be the first to jump. Get it over with. I'm like, hey, let me go first. Nobody's going before me. Besides the people that individually went, that was up there with us. They went ahead and jumped out. They looked like goddamn swans coming out of the <laughs> Ain't but about when, that I just noticed like when they opened the door. They opened that door and them niggas that 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 can do it jumped out uh, <laughs> like they were jumping in the swimming pool. But you feel the wind. Said, you what? can feel the wind. You feel the wind. Do and you all feel of it? it? Hell yeah, you feel it. You this feel is a plane. This is the fastest you will ever go raw to the earth, like with wind just hitting you. It's like you can't breathe, damn near. When they open the door, what? You, how do they let you? Like we got to open the door now. Did we you try to change enough. your mind? Like Never. once they open the door, and you're like, nah, I don't want to nah, do it no I more. I got up out of there. I was like, I'm ready to jump. Like let's get it. Let me go first. I don't. But wanna... you high up in there. They stay. They, they just going. How fast you think they going when they open them door? I don't know. Cause they going. Oh, you moving? You up there? So what? When you jumped, what was in your mind Nothing. the whole time? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I screamed. I said, "Oh!" Then look, I, I I know I paid to get the camera shit recorded. So yeah, I'm like, you had to change I up. I had to shake it up real quick. I said, "All right, nigga, come on, get your let me get right." <laughs> Boom. So now I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm like, "All right, throw my hands up like they told yeah, me." Yeah, but you really in your mind Boom. like, I, "I got this." All right. In my mind, I'm you falling. You just falling. Ain't no stomach drop. You literally just shooting down. 
And you literally it just It seemed like when he did this or something Then y'all shot back yeah, up Yeah because that slows you down Once you have your hand it, like this it, it control you Right okay. You know what I'm saying It control you So it ain't slow you down Cause the wind The cameraman is just still falling Falling, falling. Okay he ain't, he ain't shot himself like this So he right. just falling Getting his angles Cameraman cold though A little he white cold. boy He's sitting Gotta there be. He got the camera in one hand He like Come on man I'm like But he needs crazy Like give me something for the camera I'm like I paid for it here Yeah Cause, cause the whole package Is too much to not be up there you can't look be like with you. Yeah, you gotta look like you're enjoying yourself. You here. We here we in the Will sky. Smith did. Will, Will he, Smith jumped, he jumped out of off of like a something too. He did some jumping oh, off the of cannon. Mountain. Yeah, the cannon. Mountain or something. Mm, cannon. That's that like I ain't <laughs> <laughs> no control. I think he was by himself. I don't think yeah, nobody, he did. He like, nigga tripping. But that shit, I'm telling bro, I'm coming down. You pull your own. Shit. Oh, they don't pull it? You have to pull it? They will pull it at a certain... Because they give you like... I don't know what that shit called. I hate not knowing exactly what it's called, but it, you see how high up you are. Right. When you get to a the certain altitude. spot... The altitude. There we go. Boom. She, she, she can go jump out of there. <laughs> they tell you at a certain spot, that's what they teach you. Go ahead and start... Reach back and pull for your shit. Or you can get... They even give you like a... Uh, if you like to fall a little longer, mm -hmm. don't let it get to this. Right. Me, right before I even got to the first one. <laughs> hey, we was in the air. Listen, we was in the air on parachutes. You remembered it. What? I'm talking about, we was in the air. I was watching everybody else shoot down. I'm like, they go point. They go stretch. They shooting down. They they landed before me. Remember, I'm telling you, I jumped first, jump but first. I pulled first, too. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm thinking. So it takes you longer I'm thinking, okay, down. this shit going to stop once we get here. Now your stomach dropping because you. Yeah, it pulls you up. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm telling bro, I'm like, all right, did bro, you I'm you finna throw? give it up right did here, you did you right throw? now. I didn't. It, but it was one of them things where, you know, when your mouth get you knew all that coming. spit, you got to yeah. keep spitting. Yeah, he Now, nah, I know, you, you know that you, you got to do a breathing control, right? When you feel like you're finna throw, you got to you gotta yeah, get that yeah, air you need. Yeah, yeah. So I found that. I got down on the ground. I asked bro, I said, why do I feel like, like all my energy gone? He said, hey, you ate? I said, I ain't ate nothing. I said, I just drunk a Red Bull. He said, you ain't giving that adrenaline, nothing to feed off of. You need to go get you something to eat right now before you pass out. I'm talking about, I, I get out, I'm pulling my shit off, and I'm talking about, I'm moving like, I feel heavy. I feel like I got on a, a, a body weight thing. Like, I'm right. like, hell no, I'm, I'm drenched, sweating. So as I get back into the place to put your, get your shit back, everybody that's coming up next, because I remember I told you it's a nice little order going in. Everybody's going next, they looking at me like, I'm freaking them out. <laughs> How was it? I'm drenched. I'm like, man, that shit, damn, that shit, I'm gonna kill me. I'm scaring everybody on purpose at this point, though. But I really feel like I went, remember, I'm telling you, it's my birthday. My girl took me to a nice little um, yard bird, took me to yard bird. Right, I know how that. I threw up. Wow. I threw up right there. Just. <laughs> rrr, rrr, rrr. Luckily, we was eating outside. I hate doing that, too, so I feel like the heat mm -hmm. made me throw up. But I threw up. It just was a terrible, that was a terrible birthday. I ain't gonna cap, mm. I ain't gonna lie to you. You ain't gonna forget it. Though. July, what, wasn't your birthday? 7-11. That boy finna go in on the 11th. What you gonna do this time? Not a goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> that baby turned one. She that won. girl turned yeah, one. She just she turned one. She tur no, she turned one um, last Saturday. Yeah, yeah she so, just turned one. So how's that been though, man? Because you had the boy already, but how's mm -hmm. how it he been? He turned four in, a, in two weeks. In two weeks. Mm -hmm. how, how, how's the daughter being different from, from the, the son? That's daddy's little girl. She's a crybaby. Really? <laughs> she's a crybaby. Yeah. Only around you are. Nah, she just don't. She's a um. I would say a pa a pandemic baby. Okay. You know, shelter. She ain't really go nowhere. And then when we did go places, you know, it's not the average. You know, when you got your baby out, everybody, you know, you go to church. I'm not giving you my baby. Mm -hmm. You might got COVID. Mm -hmm. When we go to family things, I'm not passing my baby around. Mm -hmm. she ain't she ain't this is a baby you know mm -hmm. and she can't fight off with what you can fight off right so i just i feel like that's what i was that's like. what called yeah gary payton defense with my baby so she like, stick on to you like glue for sure and she and she really don't like no other men mm. like she be like but she'll I, go to women oh she'll go to women okay if she feel like it <laughs> she is a mean little baby her attitude she's mean whose attitude she got mine but you're not mean. You got his mean way. You see how he paused when I said that? He paused. I saw that. I, I, I'm not mean. I'm blunt. And I feel like my baby just blunt. 
Okay. <laughs> I don't know if a baby could be blunt, but I got a blunt baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She kind of just. Well, in today's society, let me ask you a question. With your baby, because I know you like to plan ahead. You know, everybody's creating wealth for even the kids nowadays. How are you working to create wealth for her? Not through your company or what you're doing, mm-hmm. but, you know, because they do whether they have a page for their baby and do a TikTok for their baby or Instagram and have them start making money that way. Uh, what are you doing for your child? Not going to put her in no entertainment industry. Like, she got to get to the age where she want to be in it. Because mm-hmm. I sleep, eat, breathe this shit. And it's not nothing that I tell nobody to do. Like, you got to be a fucking lunatic to do this. Mm-hmm. And win, too. Because this shit ain't promised. You can't go do four years of this like you do in college and get a music degree or get a podcasting degree. No, mm-hmm. you got to win. You got to make it. Like, so, it's damn near like, and then when you see the odds, it's more people trying to make it doing what we do than it is trying to make it in the NFL, than it is trying to make it in the NBA. Yep. It's 50 motherfuckers being drafted, 50 lives being changed right then. Right. Money, right there, in their face. Overnight. For, from doing that for how many other years. In this, you don't get that. Like, it's not a guarantee. So, I would say, I would want my kids to do some more shit that's, like, secure. But if they was to say, I want to do this, I'm not gonna tell them they can't do it, mm-hmm. but they gotta say they wanna do it. Cause I know, like man, you don't wanna just draw struggle. Like yeah. you don't have to. Okay, you, you gotta start saying? creating wealth for them early. No, you have to. I, I gotta ask you about the music. Just what? When is the next project coming out? Mm-hmm. What I actually we, what just dropped. I just dropped a project. Um, uh, I, I linked up with my with my, my partner, my good friend at Gold Prez Dallas. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. And we dropped a project, which is uh, it's a lot of information on it. Uh, okay. It's just it's one of them it's one of them grown it's one of them grown projects you know what I'm saying yeah. what's it's, it called uh, it's called Gold Prison oh Gold, 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 Gold Prison Prez. yeah Gold Prison is that motherfucker is uh hard it's hard y'all it's hard like it's just it's wordy you know what I'm saying what inspired you to do this I always do these type of um projects um I haven't done one in a long time I always swung through every genre when I was doing what I was doing. Like, I know for a fact the summer coming, I'm finna drop some club stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just because I know how the game work. Mm-hmm. You know, I know how to move in it. You know what I mean? I know how to swim through the waters, but at the same time, I know it's a fan base that appreciate me as a full artist, so I give them that type of stuff. And I keep building them. I keep keep mm-hmm. feeding them. I keep giving them stuff because they steadily growing. I ain't worried about the speed that they grow, but they growing. You know what I'm saying? I know how to monetize with them. I, I done seen you in the um the, the shirt place getting shirt. I be doing my own merch and shit like mm-hmm. like this shit. It come from self, so it's more so who want it, who gonna get up in the morning, who gonna when you don't want to do it, is mm-hmm. you gonna do it? You know what I'm saying? Do, so, well, do you um uh, top off? I mean, what what's going on with top off? Last time, I think Half Pint was here since you was here, last, mm-hmm. and he was telling me about certain people that wasn't there anymore. Um, who's all dealing with top off now or? Like like how how's things going over there? Top off is um lovely from my angle. Okay. See, Pint Angle is um he went out his way to manage. Yes. You know what I mean? So now you what you got is you have people that are counting on you. You know what I'm saying? And and they, and they may not like how you doing what you're doing for them, or you might not like how they working and like that's that's the the thing of working with motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like when you, that's why I never wanted to do no group shit. Like yeah. it's hard to for me to be able to count on you. You gonna bring I can your, count on me. You gonna bring your best you. You know what I'm saying? I can count time. on me, but I can't count on somebody else, and I can't let somebody else jeopardize something good possibly, especially in the game that you don't know if you're gonna be in it or not. Coming up, I I can see niggas flaking and doing certain things, so I would detach myself from this. Like so, what top off is top off is created. By JT, rest, rest his soul. You yes. know what I'm saying? We was kids. Yeah. So it's more so we keeping that name alive. And Pint was like, shit, what, what better way to start my management company than call it Top Off Management and just extend on our brand? So a lot of the times we come up here, like, he'll say Top Off Family and then he'll say Top Off People that I'm managing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because these people can go. Like, you understand? We always tell them that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, we family. We locked in. These folks Top right here. Top for you is a lifestyle. Yeah, that's 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 family. Like these, these this shit is on your me. life. This shit tatted on me twice. For like, nigga, I'm crazy. I got it on me twice. You because understand? You, you believe in it because you double would, time. You did what I'm boy saying. Passed away. It's, no, it, facts. it's different. Chasing it, fighting for it. You know what I mean? That brand. So 
it just always been with me. I'm gonna push it to the end of the, to the end of the to the moon. You see what I'm saying? My publishing company is Top Out Publishing. You see what I'm That's saying? Dope. It's been that from since 2010 when I made my ass cap. Yeah, yeah. So it's just I don't know. As far as air, all the artists, it's a it's a group thing. You know, we all throw each other bones to pick, but it's still a man. This game is right. <laughs> this game of grind. We're gonna get up and go get it. And I ain't gonna, you know, I ain't gonna babysit you. Nobody. No, no, no. But I think, I think you, like I said, you, you, what? I gotta ask you about different things, man. Uh, Yellow, he been in, been in the news a lot. Mm -hmm. Lodi's was just here with me the other night. Um, mm -hmm. Just uh, with with, it, with what you see him with with Yellow. Um, do you? Is he gonna be all right? You think? Um, Yellow actually uh, texted me yesterday and say his all his cases was dropped. Really? Mm. Yeah. That's he, good. He done. <laughs> That's dope, but I personally know Yellow. Like Yellow is like big on like church shit. Like so, man, that nigga pay, he been paying his tie. He paying his ties with his street money. Like I watched this boy <laughs> do that. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying. Yeah. So he's he's touched. Like it's just more so. It's more money, more problems, man. Like well, maybe I can get a damn interview now. I've been pushing for that you forever. Be able to? Though. Nah, it ain't happening. He ain't been doing no press, no nothing. Right. And I have some well, good he, insight on that nigga. Well, I he got is great friends just sitting around him. Clear. I don't know why. I mean, it's love. I, I got people him. around that nigga, yeah, talk man. To him. I talk to him. I, I talk got to him. people around him. I know people that because got I think him. Because that some people, even though we have people around him, they still very skeptical about who and what to do with. Yeah. You know, certain things. Yeah. Yeah. I but just, I, I can feel it. I can feel it. I mean. I mean, just just being in his shoes. I mean, I wouldn't personally want to be there. I tell it all the time, like, boy. But that's why Yellow Yellow's nice and rich. I'm gonna let y'all know that. Yeah, like, that I boy know that he's nice and filthy. The one thing I know is he a dope artist, and I've been rooting for him a long time, bro. Yeah. And and to be real with you, I've been a fan. I, we've been on places together. Mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't cry no nigga. That just ain't me. Yeah. But I I said whenever somebody not on this show. Little run, I say I gotta work hard. I be thinking in my mind, I focus on that point. Yeah. But he one of those guys that because of him not doing press, I kinda, you know, like this he going through his thing or whatnot. I mean, you know, me and Lodi talk every all the time. Exactly. Um, but at and other people. But at the end of the day, I want him to wanna come on here. You know what man, I mean? I'm gonna put that bug in his ear, cuz. It's different over here because yeah, we don't nigga, make man. a nigga do nothing over here. You you know the atmosphere. Yeah. It's really like, damn, you know, like we go, I go in there, I ain't got to worry about no pressure, none of that. Yeah, he had to hear it from a nigga like me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and y'all already had low D's through here, so it's like. He always here. Even if it's like got to be arranged like, because I know how yellow moves. I know. You know I what I'm saying? It's, uh, but I know y'all going to move. Man, we ready. Right. According to how, you know what I mean, to make yeah. anybody comfortable. So, exactly. yeah, I'm a for sure going to put that book in there. So, be looking for that. Oh, yeah, I mean? for sure. Be looking like for I said, that. I've, been, I've been thinking about, like, man, I, are we ready to get get that boy on here yet? Yeah. And then I was like, nah. Oh, it's perfect timing right yeah. now. I told him, like, I, I, when he texted me that, I texted him back um, this morning. I was just like, hey, bro. That's a blessing. I said, look, it's time for you to step on everybody that prayed on your downfall, dog. Yeah. Yeah, this is how I talk to you. Like this, it's time for you. To, I said it's time for you to be super saying yellow. Like now, here, here, here it is. Yeah, what you gonna do? It's time. He gonna, he gonna, man. He built that like I know beast, him. Man. He gonna, he gonna step up to the plate and he finna swing at that motherfucking charge sending over the fence. I know it. You know what I'm saying? I already, like I said, as far as the the music and the and the and the star power, that's no problem. No, nah, that's and like I said. This nigga, when he step in the room, you know this nigga's a mm -hmm. star. When this nigga, I tell people all the time, when he not in Dallas. Niggas gonna go crazy for that nigga, man. Mm -hmm. Cause they seen this nigga, man. This nigga got song with everybody. Chris Brown, Gucci mm -hmm. Man, uh, Me Migos. This nigga, this nigga guy, he like you. I'm be honest that with you. Got, that nigga got nah. That nigga got songs with motherfuckers. That nigga got songs, mm -hmm. boy. Listen, the boy ready, and I know that, and I tell people I'm like that nigga the biggest nigga in Dallas when it come down to this music. And like if he oh, go yeah. places, niggas know this nigga when they think of Dallas, they think of that nigga, man. I'm yeah. being real because of the way he when I did different things with different groups of people. Yeah. Now, yours is different because you write and you do all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You might miss it. But this nigga here was in the fro forefront. When I go to Atlanta, I'm over at that nigga exclusive game, Tony, uh, and and he walk out, that's on me, baby. I mm -hmm. said, I go to Dallas. Everywhere I go, I go to LA. That's on me. I said, this nigga everywhere. That's, uh, hey, that's, what, he that's do. when he was just, I was like that. But I already, I was listening to, uh, 
uh, the one where he, that Stevie Wonder. I was listening to that stuff before all. I was listening mm -hmm. to that designer. I was one of them guys. I'm here, nigga. I recorded that. You, you did? Trapping designer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you got to realize I own stores. So mm -hmm. that song, so you and that. I was mad about that the video. Was like, that was, was crazy. In, it was in v, uh, uh, did, uh, Villa, or it wasn't Villa at the time. It might have been Villa at the time. When he did the 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 the, the, the video. Mm hmm it was in a store like, I'm like, damn, why they couldn't be over here at Boston? It wasn't Boston, mm -hmm. like you need fashion back then, it mm -hmm. wasn't no Boston talk, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't envy it, I was just like, I love the designer thing, and then, you know, different people that he rock with, like different people, Charles, all these people that he know, mm -hmm. I've been, I always ask about him and stuff, man, so it's been nah, big he love. A good, he a good nigga, man, that nigga a good nigga, man. Y'all got this thing, man. I, I can tell you right now, the city, if, if, if that's the case, and he for, if that boy come out and come out the way he gonna come out, I know y'all finna do some crazy stuff, to be honest with I you. I feel like, to me, I feel like everybody I'd be like, ah, oh, the city is um, dry. And this. I'd be like, man, I don't see what y'all see. Yeah. I was here when the city was dry. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Helping get this motherfucker moist. Now I see exactly. niggas, I see motherfuckers exactly. getting money. Like, what is y'all talking about? Now, if it's you not getting money, don't call the, the city, city dry. Because this right. motherfucker's getting money out here. Right. Yeah. Doing exactly what you do. You just got to figure it out. Don't call the city dry. You or, you got another platinum uh, plaque or something. I, know. I was just about yeah, to yeah, ask yeah, 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 yeah. Move up with platinum. Right. Yeah. I was just so, about to so ask. So I for seen that. you, you know, I said, Add a boy heels, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna stop following there you go, him. I'm finna one. stop following no, him. He, 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 he got his shirt off. He ain't like uh what's that boy name? Seco uh, P. No, not Seco. Uh Wiz Khalifa, you know. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't gonna be in my drive. No, nah, I ain't gonna burn I ain't gonna burn up I ain't gonna burn up all my male followers, man. <laughs> Well, I got a cameraman to be trying to do that. I feel I'm following that nigga. Hey, look, I, I used I to do that. I used to do nigga, shit man. like that. I used to do <laughs> shit like that. And really? my partners used to tell me, like, bro, man, I'm finna pop run. <laughs> I'm finna follow you, bro. <laughs> I said, okay, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand, my nigga. I get it. You know what I'm saying? What's the craziest thing you've ever done as an artist? Oh, oh, you going back to that? What's the craziest, the craziest thing that I've the ever done? The craziest thing you've ever done? I think done. the craziest thing that I've ever done was, um, when I thought of that, the 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 cool it now concept, when I was um um, have y'all seen the cool it now video? Uh uh. You saw it. He, he boom. So I'm on I'm on the, on camera on the music video. It looked like I'm hitting a girl, like I'm having <laughs> sex on the couch. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And and, and that I video. That video too. So that video did. At the time, it did the best numbers for me ever, like. So why in a was night, crazy? in a because I was butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> That's your acting skill. <laughs> it is, but it wasn't that, that at the time frame. The game wasn't seeing none of that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the game wasn't doing none so of that. They Nobody you was, really was doing that. Oh, it looked like it. It looked just like it. <laughs> but the beauty of it was that thing did a hundred thousand in twenty four hours. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Did a hundred, hundred thousand twenty four. It got blocked. On the third day, <laughs> on the third day, it had like four hundred and fifty thousand. You didn't blur it out or nothing. It's blurred out, but it's but still just it's still it's still yeah. YouTube, that's when they first started. Now they cl they clock in. They show half you show half a booty cheek. You getting blocked. You getting blocked. Wow. You going on that block list. But it was the, to me, it was more so the process of how I rolled that out. Mm -hmm. The day before we got on Facebook, we got blocked on there too. And pint, I said pint. Look, we already got the scene going. Go out there. Make it seem like you catching me having sex. We're not going, because nobody heard the song yet. I was releasing the song with a video. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, Pint, we did two takes of it. Yeah. We still have both takes. You know what I'm saying? So to see the um the that clip did 100K overnight. Right. Before it got blocked. And we was like, they was like, man, what's going to satisfy you? I'm like, bro, if the video do the exact same thing. you know, it's just like a lie. A lie might go crazy, but then the truth might get... 5,000 views. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, man, just give me that equal match. And he did that. So I was like, yeah. Oh. So it was like, it was one of them plays where you just, you be able to sit back and you know that your mind, like, how, what the, the shit you think can work. But that's been my whole career, like, even like, with me dealing with different labels, this, that, and other, the majority of the shit that worked for me was my mind. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And I wish I wasn't fucking with none of them labels. I'll say that right here on y'all <laughs> shit. I wish I didn't fuck with none. I wish I was just, you know what I mean? Stay trusting my, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was independent labels, so I was still independent. These, right. You know what I mean? But just to not, because at the time frame, me learning the game, they was learning the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, the only I thing they had over me was it. age. And so, right. I, that, that'll be like, that's like my main thing that I want to teach artists like, man, 
Don't let nobody come swindle you because that's basically they basically yourself. pimping you. Trust they pimping. It's basically pimping. It's pimping. Big pimping. When you look at it, like that's cool. I can say that. I can stand on that. But it, I, I wasn't uh, gonna allow that type of shit to keep happening. And I'm the nigga putting these plays. Not today when you have mind. so much information out there that you can acquire exactly. yourself. The only thing that I see that some people would want. Um, someone to overlook them, I'm not going to always say a label, is the fact that that person might have more contacts than they do. They mm -hmm. have more networking skills. They're in certain rooms that they want to get into. That's the only reason I see that they'd want to, you know, nope. entangle themselves. I, I know a lot of people that tangle themselves in that. And I will also say to, to that artist, like, if you're seeing this person, you're like, man, they tapped in. Ask them, can you pay for their contact book before you just get them 20% okay. of something they ain't work for. So you before you make that. them your manager and get them 20% of something that you ain't made yet. So people sell contact books? Hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Let me ask you this. I got to jump off that uh, before you get off here. Big uh, big extra plug though. He, mm -hmm. is, is he next up? He hard. That nigga, that nigga came on here. He that nigga voice so deep. I, I be wanting more music though. I don't, maybe I'm pushing to it. I want that nigga to drop all the time. See, because these young niggas got you on it. Yeah, I want them drop, drop, drop. I want drop, that drop. nigga to yeah. drop, nigga. But if you like them, you don't want them to, to wear you out. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That you nigga hard. You don't want to find out a nigga's special move before a nigga goddamn can show the world his special move. Yeah. Then when his special move, the world see it, you can be like, ah, I've been knowing, bro. Cause that's what people do to us as artists. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the hard part about catching it from the ground up. The people around you that was pushing you, they feel like they know you, and they feel like they they done heard the best of you, or they they get your style or this that and the other. When they not understanding, it's a whole world out there that I need you, the person that know me, to be able to explain to these people what it is. But instead, they pull off when it don't happen on the time that they feel like it should happen for you. Yeah, I get it. I you get know it. what I'm saying? Yeah, so now man. you become that. Nigga that rap. Mm. No, no. Oh, that's just it. such and such. That's why I tell niggas, man, go get you some wins. Cause them wins gon it's icebreakers when you get in them big rooms. Yeah. Like every it, like people ask me all the time, man, how, how you get in the writing game? I don't know, nigga. <laughs> but you one of them guys. I can say this. The, the best shit that ever happened to me in them writing rooms was me being able to say, Oh, I had this song, that song, this song. And the artist that I'm writing for be like, Oh, I heard that before. So right. now they trust it. They like, oh, he know how to make his own records as mm -hmm. well. Like, so it's different when you already have a catalog as well, and you can go in there and write with, somebody with, else. with leverage. Mm -hmm. But everybody be want, want like, I, I, I be like, man, I can't give you that type. I don't know that game. Like, I just use what I work and how, yeah, how I move my juices. Best. He, he be the, you be mm -hmm. the best you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, man, you gifted, man. That's what happens, man. Like, your, your gift will make room for you. Right. I got to say that. You know what I mean? I appreciate like, it. Like, man, you've been blessed, man. You, you Like I said, you did another boss talk interview. I'm always get you in here periodically, I got, I got bro. Last, I got the last oh, you question. Oh, you, you going to bring it on home? Yes. Okay. But um, the name Lil Ronnie, you know a lot of people with the name Lil anything in front of their mm -hmm. name. After they get older, they always change that little or drop that little or whatever. Mm -hmm. Why you still have it? Um, Lil Ronnie MF. I don't know why I still got um, my name Lil Runny Mother. Cause you ain't Lil no more. Yeah, and I just I always been Lil Runny. Um, cause you know that's my dad. That's my dad's name. So I always that's been dope. Lil Runny growing up. Okay. Lil Runny, the mother elf is what separated me from all the other Lil Runnies. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Uh, Would you ever change a Lil? Drop it off or anything at all? I mean, I'm a little nigga. For but, <laughs> but for for a project, it would it may be some marketable. You know, we don't know. I um, in my mind, I I don't know what I would change my name to. Nah, no, I'm you keep the Ronnie, but that's the little. So that's Ronnie Mother Elf. Yeah, cause look, the Mother Elf on my name is always giving me grief. Why? Why? Cause it's it's a it's a short acronym for a cuss word. Right. So a lot of radios when I go do shit, they just call me Little Ronnie. I'm like, no. So I used to get to the station, do my interviews. I'm like, yeah, I go by the name of Little Ronnie Mother Elf. I will always correct. But you them. didn't say the whole. Curse word, you just exactly. Saying. But before I made Mother Elf, it was motherfucker. I used oh, to call okay. myself motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It was it was all the way uncut. So they did raw. not want to say that, of course. Raw. It was raw. But that's dope. Some though. people still call me Lil Runny motherfucker. Like it's like okay. it's it's one of them things where I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I don't know what I would change my name to. I probably would change my name to my real name, Runny Right. Really, that would be a dope project. Just running right. That's a that's a that's a pro, that's a dope project. I'm just thinking of projects. You know what I'm saying? Cause shit, you say when you get old, I'm thirty. 
Shit, I don't know how much older I can get to that much out. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, you got a dope brand, man. However you do it, I know you blessed. You smart, man. Sharp, you. sharp with it, bro. Before I get out of here, I want to tell everybody to go check out. Um, we just did a short film. Okay. It was shot by Half Pint Films. It was wrote by Cindy Monet. That's Pint Girl. Okay. Uh, it's a short film. It's called Right My Wrongs. I'm, I got the leading role in that. What? That's online See, right now. And I, that's another thing I was thinking about to ask, and I forgot because I know you're such a great actor. Yeah. I would love to see you. So in that's film. gonna be dope. Yeah. How you think it turned no, it's, out? It's, it's out. It's How out. How do you think it turned out? Dope. We about to watch it. It was yeah. dope. Where Just, can where can we find it's it? It's on YouTube. On YouTube. Mm -hmm. Give us and how long is it? It's a short film. How long is it? It's a short film. It's fifteen minutes. That's it. It's you can't. That's good. good. That's but good. But the average short film is is ten minutes. Yeah. I want to so, see you in a full blown movie. So we are shooting a full blown movie. We, we actually in the midst of um finishing the writing, and we gonna start filming. That's dope. At man. the end of this What's month. What's about? If I tell you that, it's put it like this. It's not um a shoot 'em up bang bang. Mm hmm. It's, it's, it's romance it's, drama. It's gonna have drama. It's gonna have romance. It's, it's for sure gonna have comedy in it. But it's gonna give you everything that a movie would give you. You know what I'm saying? You just look. You just not looking at actors you're familiar with. Okay. So it's just more so us jumping in that water the same way we jumped in this music business. We jumped in that water. People All local actors. Yeah. People gonna like it and people not. But we know that's what come with it. That you know what I'm saying? It. We but can't we can't touch though. everybody. But and we of want course, everybody Half to Pine see. Filmed it. it. Half Pine filmed it. Half Pine edited ready. it. You know what I'm saying? That who wrote what? it? And he said his girl his wrote girl it. His girl wrote it. Yeah. The movie and both of them. Okay. That's so, going to be dope, man. I'm going to watch it, the, the short film, for sure. Shout out to Would You so Look at This Productions. You, uh, That's his new one. Like okay, let me it's see. called Right My Wrongs. It's spelled like my last name. Yeah. Right. Right yeah, My Wrongs. Wow. We're going we gonna to rock out with that. And it's on, and where is it, Amazon? No, it's on YouTube right now. It's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Y'all letting a nigga just eat all That was our it. test. That was our okay. test. Like, we, we, we finna really, we just, now we kick back, looked at it. It's like, oh, bitch, it's y'all oh, intro. Oh, it's up. That's why. Hey. That's, all, that's all you got to do is see it. Then you Bro, know what you and, need to and, fix and, and what you need to, and how you need to do is, it. You can put everything in the palm of your own hand. You know, we got y'all. We got the YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we got prime time that we about to do. Mm -hmm. That's where my skits gonna be at. Like it's you can do what you want to do. You got you guys got great followings, man. It's some people, believe it or not, Lil Ronnie, that don't even understand either the, the YouTube algorithm, the stuff that they. You, I'm being real. Mm -hmm. There's some real known dudes that deal with everybody that don't understand the concept mm -hmm. of that. And I be trying to help educate these people, bro. But a lot of them niggas is not content creators. No, no, they not. I but feel they like, gotta I feel like once out, you become bro. a content creator. You, you will become, figure it you out. Become, um, you become driven on them analytics because that's how I was. So you 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 be trying to figure it out for sure, for sure. It show you. It's a it's a it's a map. That's right. If you know how to read that shit, it's telling you where to put shit. Oh, y'all like that? Let me give y'all some more of that. Oh, y'all like that? Let me give you some more of that. Like it's when you look in that back office and you see them numbers, they tell you the age of motherfuckers. They tell you male, I female. Like yeah. Like you know who fucking with you. But some people don't even know how to get that far. I'm telling you. But here we are again, E. If they grown, if we can do it, they can do it. They just don't want to do it. Damn it, boy. That's all it is, bro. I hate it, man. Because like I said, you can't want it for them. I know it. I'll be wanting it for niggas all the time, too, bro. You can't want it for them. Check it, man. Hey, man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Boss talk, man. Where the bosses talk, man. Check it, man. We out.